Today we are going to do the flipping rig, a very popular method here for fishing for bass. All you need is braid, a bobber stopper, a tungsten weight, but you can use lead, and a hook of course, and a soft plastic. The soft plastic is made specifically for these flipping hooks. As you can see, there's little channels and stuff for it. Today we're using the new Mustad Grip Pin Max. The first step is to get some line out. This line will go through the barber stopper. The barber stopper is a must for a flipping situation. These things here are awesome and they're very inexpensive. You can find them pretty much anywhere online as well as your local shops. You put it into the metallic part of the hole and then you drag the rubber part over both lines. This allows you to thread the barber stopper and today we're going to use it as a weight stopper onto the, the braid. We are using the bright green today but the wish braid is also available in the dark green braid. Next is to thread the line into the tungsten weight. Make sure you got plenty of room because we're going to do a uh, knot here. Today we're going to use the Palomar knot. A lot of people like to snell their hook as well. So either way is your preference. The Palomar knot it happens to be mine because it's very fast and easy to tie. Just snip off the tag end like so. And now we are ready to put on the lure. Make sure it's straight. Go all the way down to where it notches for this particular bait anyways. Because you want this thing as streamlined as possible to go into the grass. Especially when you're punching heavy thick mats. As you can see, the hook is designed to be very, very low profile, therefore not to snag on anything. Now you put on the plastic. But make sure you do not go all the way through because you want it to be as smooth, as seamless as possible for punching through the mat. And finally, all you have to do is cinch down the weight and the bobber stopper and you are done I have seen many of the pros use an ounce to an ounce and a half to punch through the mat in Okeechobee it sounds a little crazy but it definitely works I've seen some monsters come out of those mats